Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to the next installment of Render Like Rights In. Today we're gonna do something a little different, but this is incredibly important. It's called analyzing what you do. A level of tenacity that you're gonna need to have to get really good. And what that means is you can't gloss over anything. Okay, so even though all we did yesterday was a little study of this pot, and I did them quick, and I, I did them in real time, meaning I actually filmed it, you know, I drew it, sketched it out, I should say, and then and then did these quick studies. There's things that I missed, and I obsess over something until I get it right, okay? I know that the, the desire to get more and to see more and to learn more is always there, but you need to have a level of patience and focus to get really good. Okay, so I'm gonna point out a few things that I glossed over doing my quick studies that were incredibly important. Okay, so when I sketched this out, I did all this. Notice this, do you see this? I drew the top line here, okay? Look at Wrightson's thing right here, okay? There's no top line. The top line is indicated by the line work around it. This is an incredibly important element of Wrightson's work and makes this breathe and come alive whereas this in the study because it's more defined is more stiff it's more generic it's less interesting okay very very important and i'm not i'm not kidding about this okay i've talked about this in other videos the way that i got work so quickly as a professional was i never glossed over any of this stuff when i was learning and i would do test pages three to five times until I got it right, okay? People don't do that. The best do, okay? You wanna be the best, you need to dig in and learn this stuff. This is how Wrightson got so good, is he wasn't glossing over any of this stuff. Okay, this is done about three years before he started the Frankenstein plates, but as you can see, he's already moving in that direction. This is probably brush inking, if I was gonna guess. And we're gonna get in, uh, we'll, we'll dissect maybe like one or two other little parts on this piece, and then I'll look through the book and try to find some really good examples to move us forward. But why this pot, or vase, whatever you want to call it, it looks like a teapot in a weird way, um, is so important is this could be an arm on a jacket, this could be a uh, part of a mechanical thing. I mean, this thought process is going to cover a lot of ground. Okay, another thing that I glossed over, sorry, I'm, I, I don't, my phone wants to autofocus, is okay, so I mentioned this part, how there was the white line that went here because the light is coming from here, so this top lip is catching light. But then underneath, because this is actually sticking out, the shadow's there, so we got that, okay? I have that. So again, autofocus. I'm telling you, my phone just struggles with these videos. But I'm going to show you something that I didn't get in both of these videos. This one is a little bit better. But um, again, this is, you know, I thought about this all day. If you didn't, then you didn't learn as much as I did from my video yesterday. I'm just going to, I'm going to say that straight out. Um, this right here, okay, if you look, let me pull in on this a little bit. Okay, these lines right here is a slight cast shadow of this protruding, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, like it's a sphere basically, like if you looked at it from above, it's probably a round shape. So it's creating a little bit of a shadow here, which I, I said he's got, because the first time that I did it, I just drew generic lines coming out. I, I was just trying to get the gist of things, and so I just did a very generic like, oh, okay, he's got rendering going this way, da 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 da. This one, I did show you that there was a bit of a stair step going on here with, with he indicated a little bit more line work here, and then it fell in, and then it was showing the circumference, I guess you'd call it, and the, the bulge of this um, vase. So that's a really important part because a very, very subtle value shift there that's creating a little bit of... Um, a little more form, a little more suggestion of that. And then these lines come in to the piece and he's got the stagger. What I mean by that is if you look at my intro to brush inking and the cross hatching with a micron, um, 
I show how to do this. It's he's essentially got lines coming out this way, and if you notice, these aren't really tapered lines. They 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 go slightly thick to thin, but not really. It's a fairly dead weight line, which I kind of showed here. Mine are a little more spread out. Again, I struggle a little bit with just the having the camera right in my face, and then also I generally draw very very close to the page, and I have to um, sort of acclimate to the recording process, which is not very comfortable for me. Um, but and then he has these lines that come in here but they start right here this is where they start and they go two 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 and every time he's creating that little thing okay this might seem very um like minuscule and very kind of minutiae but again i learned five things from this piece at least i learned core shadow a little a little bit of a breakup of it you know maybe the light is hitting this a little harder so this shadow holds true but a little light is seeping in here we've got the lip we've got the lit edge we've got the open top we've got the suggestion of this it comes down in here he sweeps these to show the form of the under vase do you see what i'm saying with this this is so easy to gloss over but the masters don't i promise you they don't okay i can't really stress this enough you know, again, I know people always go, I want the next video, I want to learn this, I want to learn that. If you can't master simple form and lighting simple form effectively, you're never ever going to be able to draw killer figures, okay? Because this applies to everything, this attention to detail. And again, the suggestion of the nozzle here, it comes in, you've got this. Mine's a little more crude, it was done quicker, but anyway, you get the idea sweeps around you can see that this is the lip of this sweeping around we've got this it's going into perspective down here all of this stuff follows those vanishing points everything is coming this way and then everything is going this way and we'll get into that later but i wanted to go back to this and just show you how much you can learn from a study as small as that because it's so important and i want you guys to be awesome all this is so key, okay? So that's all I'm gonna do today, but I want you to realize how how important that was, okay? And then tomorrow what I was thinking we might do is we might do a quick study of this guy, because I know people always wanna learn to draw people, but I'm telling you, this stuff applies to this stuff, it really will. Um, but yeah, we'll maybe do like a little face study and we can show what, what is going on here, and we'll just take this part, okay? So, all right, smash the like. It seems like I need to tell people that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want you guys to really learn this stuff and be killer. You're going to be better than all the rest because you're going to do all the little things, all the little things that create the X factor. They'll go, why is that guy so good? This is going to be why, all right? I got your back. All right, later. Check out my Patreon. <laughs>